Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to 10 Bagger Stocks, the YouTube channel that's dedicated to finding stocks that could help you 10x your money. Today I'm going to be discussing four dividend growth stocks that which could easily fund your future retirement income. I do think that dividends are a great way to add to the compounding nature of investments, though I do believe there's a better way of selecting dividend stocks than just investing in stocks with the highest dividend yield. When it comes to dividends, my personal philosophy is that I would like to invest in companies who don't pay a lot of their capital back to investors, but instead spend the capital on growing their market share. The reason for this is that highly profitable companies, which are efficient at growing their market share, will have a high likelihood of returning a lot of capital back to investors once they feel peak growth has been achieved. As such, the dividend stocks in this video have been picked because of both their potential to grow in share price over time and also their potential to increase their dividends over time. When a company has a long-term track record of increasing their dividend while growing share price, it usually means that the company is in a very strong position in terms of their balance sheet and is highly efficient at deploying leftover capital to grow the company. Well, actually, I would say that the capital they return to the investor is the leftover capital and the capital that they reinvest in the company is the focus. Before I talk about my four favorite dividend growth stocks, I would just like to take a second to ask you to help me out with the YouTube algorithm by smashing the like button and commenting down below one stock you're currently investing in or researching as a future investment. All right, so the first company I'm going to discuss is Costco, ticker COST. I spent a lot of time in Costco's growing up, so it's a company that I know well. Costco boasts a fantastic business model, which has been executed to perfection during the past 20 years. And the market certainly agrees as the stock has grown over 400% in just the last 10 years. The reason why Costco's business model is so effective is that it offers families wholesale prices on essential goods like groceries and toiletries, but in return, the consumer must pay a yearly membership fee. This means that even if Costco doesn't sell a single item, they still have a yearly income in the billions solely from their current membership fees. This gives the company an extreme margin of safety to weather a difficult time period and still generate enough income to pay their dividend as well as continue their enticing growth story. Costco has spread substantially in the USA recently, but one could argue that they still have room to grow. At 785 locations, I don't think that they ca have captured the maximum domestic market share which is available to them. In addition to their flawless execution domestically, Costco has ventured into Asia, opening their first Chinese location on August 27, 2019, which created such a buzz that there was actually a line outside of the Costco. If Costco can execute in China as effectively as they have in the States, the sky really is the limit for the stock. I believe Costco has one of the strongest moats for any company in the consumer essentials industry, rivaled only by Walmart. The wholesale nature of Costco and their mindset for international growth make Costco a very attractive investment for the future. And investing legend Charlie Munger agrees. When Charlie was asked what his favorite company outside of Berkshire was, he replied, that's easy, it's Costco. The company is in really a fantastic position. They're amassing cash and reinvesting it properly. They're expanding their boundaries into international territories and management seems to be executing flawlessly. As Costco matures and slows growth, they will invest less into growth and instead focus on returning some of their capital back to shareholders. With all the factors considered, Costco could certainly be a great income source for any re retirement portfolio. The next stock I want to discuss is Visa, ticker V. Visa is a payment processor company who dominates market share in the United States. If you live in the USA, chances are you have at least one card issued to you through Visa. As the foundation of the American economy is currently based on consumer spending, Visa has been in a position to print money by taking a small percentage 
of every transaction that they process. The trend for consumers is always heading away from paying with cash and towards more and more people paying with cards. Even if transactions become contact, contactless in the future, it is still up to Visa to process the transaction from bank to vendor, and they still get their percentage. Needless to say, Visa prints money and as such has a fantastic balance sheet with 13 billion cash on hand. Visa continues to have a solid growth story as they will likely gain a solid market share in the worldwide expansion of payment processing. Visa is in a similar situation to Costco, and as such I expect Visa to slow growth at some point in the next 30 years, achieve their peak market share, and then start returning fantastic capital that they generate back to their shareholders through increasing their dividends. The next stock that could be a major future dividend player in anybody's retirement portfolio is everybody's favorite stock, Apple. Apple has an incredible moat, effective management, and they produce tremendous income and as such have a fantastic balance sheet holding $200 billion in cash right now. They have only recently started returning capital to shareholders, initiating dividends in 2012. The company will not rest on their laurels and will continue to be a worldwide brand with multiple revenue streams. The company will eventually reach peak market share and continue to have fantastic numbers in the profit category, but will probably instead focus on returning more capital to shareholders through a dividend. This is a no-brainer investment highlighted by Warren Buffett holding Apple as his highest conviction investment, of which he owns over $60 billion at the time of this video. Finally, the next future dividend aristocrat is Microsoft. Microsoft is an extremely well-run company which focuses their efforts on a highly profitable segment of the market, business services. It seems like they've had their hand in everything these days between cloud services, product development, and of course their bread and butter software. Microsoft is currently sitting on $138 billion in cash after earning $39 billion in income in 2019. The market knows what an incredible opportunity Microsoft has to keep growing and has priced the stock as such. At a valuation of $1.3 trillion, the company certainly ain't cheap. I still think Microsoft will grow with the world economy and as such will end up returning more capital back to investors in the future. These four stocks have such strong moats and are in such a diverse industries that I believe they offer enough diversification alone. Of course, you don't want to put your whole net worth into four companies, but the strength of their moats and their potential for continued growth speaks for itself. I own all four of these companies as a small portion of my retirement portfolio, and I believe they will be fantastic income producers in years to come. Okay guys, so that's my video. If you want to join the discussion about potential 10 bagger stocks, please subscribe to the channel and drop a comment about stocks you're interested in buying in 2020. Happy bagging guys.